All right, you guys, so today I have my Arabella 14 inch bob. Here it is right here. I'm about to show you guys how I install it and kind of like talk you guys through it. This is how the hair looks. It's freshly washed, freshly washed. Um, and I'm about to install it and show you guys how I install it. So, all right, so right now I have my natural hair. If y'all didn't know, I have a noggin. So my hair is in the low bun right now. When I have my hair out, I like to have my edges and it looks weird because I like contour down here and not here. So sorry. But basically what I do is put my wig on and it has some straps in it. So it's good on that. Now, I didn't put a wig cap on, which I probably should have, but uh, I put my hair, my wigs off of my hairline. So that's why I have a big forehead. So I have room. So I could put my wig down this low and it still not be on my hair. That's why I still, you know, have room to play with front toes. That's why my forehead be looking smaller. This case, I believe this wig needs some plucking, but I kind of want to do the sleek back look with a short wig. I feel like that would look cool. What do y'all think? Cause usually when I style my hair, I have to have, you know, need to have my hair out the way. And I feel like I definitely need to pluck this. So what I'm going to do is push the hair back. This is the best way to like lay your wings, you guys, is by having the hair out. I'm gonna use some of these clips. These ones. Like this. Hold the hair out my way. So now I could see the hairline. I did not bleach the knots. And I low-key don't plan on it because I wanna show y'all how to finesse with how I pluck my hair, my wigs, I part behind the hairline like so. A full like this, and then I start. I could you could use your hands, but you got to be careful because your hands could take out a lot of hair. So I just pull. I know I want to pull from behind the hairline, so I like split it, and then I go that way. When you go to comb backwards, you're seeing less and less hair behind the hairline, so it's not so thick. And then you gotta check on it to make sure you're not cutting too much. You don't wanna bald it. So, as you can see, it's starting to thin out. to take the tweezer and how I usually like to like pluck on a wig head but it's okay because I'm gonna figure it out but um basically I just like to pluck like this go behind the hairline pluck comb back see how I'm looking so this has excess lace so I'm definitely gonna cut that excess lace off but I want to focus on getting this hairline right you now so right now it just looks very dense So now y'all, I got some excess lace that I'm about to cut off because it's not needed. And then we are gonna get to laying this down. Now, if I was going to the club or if I knew I was going to the pool, I would definitely use an actual lace glue. But today, because I know I'm not gonna wear this wig for long, I'm gonna go ahead with my got to be spray. Now, what I do is um, make sure that, ooh, usually I do this with no makeup on because I went on a little day with my good sis Aaliyah's face. Go follow her if you don't. Um, I had a different wig on, but I have to get this video up because this company sent it to me a minute ago and realistically, I got caught up in my life and I forgot to do it. So I'm doing it. Anyway, I'm not leaving it for long. All it needs is a couple sprays. So I'm gonna just spray it down a little bit, then blow dry. And then, so if you have a comb, push down the lace. Because if we, we have natural oils in our hands, you guys, so we'll, sometimes when we touch the lace, and if it's glue, like it'll change the color or make the glue like oily. So with the spray, it's not that bad, but in reality, that's why I be doing it with my nails sometimes. You don't wanna really touch it with your fingers, and who, y'all yeah, don't wanna get your fingers dirty. So just um, spray the sheet, blow dry the sheet, and lay the sheet. I already told y'all, it was that easy.
So it's okay to have some some extra lace, but this just too much. Sis, this just look like a bald, a bald spot in itself. So I'm gonna do myself the favor and cut that off as well because it just looked like a bald spot at that point. Like, it looked like my wig got a bald spot. Like, I got a bald spot in real life and I'm not trying to make my wigs look like they had a bald spot. So let me just cut that off. Because no. <laughs> my wig is supposed to be the hairline I wish I had, baby. Okay. So spray right here too. Looks like a little mini bald spot. I just made a triangle. But why I saw myself doing it and I thought it wasn't gonna look bad, but it. Hold on, y'all. Y'all, I'm about to get off if y'all keep talking about people, bruh. All right, I fixed the hairline, YouTube. Sorry, I'm on live at the same time and they keep making me laugh. Now that I have my hairline down, my triangle shit in the corner, it's okay, I'm gonna fix it later. So I'm now, I'm gonna tie it down. I like to use a silk or a satin scar scarf for this because I found that it works the best. It gets that hair, it gets that lace really melted. But you wanna make sure it's dry. You don't wanna do this while your lace is like half wet, half dry. No, it needs to be completely dry to the touch so that when you rip it off, it doesn't look like soup. Like, yeah, I hate when my lace look like soup. And then y'all ladies have a look like soup. My shit be looking like soup sometimes. Probably have to wear it to the side. Probably cut it a little bit and wear it to the side. The hairline is pretty much um ready. Let me see. Yeah, because it don't need that much. Yeah. All it needs is to be tied for a little bit. It don't need that much. So let me do a side part with it and see what's popping with that. Again, I don't have a cap underneath and the knots aren't bleached, so we're gonna make it do what it do. I don't wanna do any baby hair. Really, because I've just been liking the no baby hair look, to be honest. I guess we can do a little side part kind of situation for right here. And the curls back. And then we gotta cut it to shape it a little bit right, because I was messing with the um, cut or whatever, but I want it to be like straight. Yeah, I want that bob to just rest on my shoulder right here. I don't want it to be any shorter any longer. I need to find this part just a little bit more. So I'm using my lot of body foaming mousse. Cut the rest that need to be cut off. This is the people I'm cutting out my life. So who learned the words to my Megatron yet? So this is the finished look you guys. Curls are very very pretty. Um yeah. Um I like that this wig is really flat so you could like style it how you want it. You could do you a little half up half down kind of style you could part it in the middle if you want it um i feel like i look like snoop dogg so i'm not doing that but yeah you can even do like a low puff if you wanted to i know that style is cute um you can even do i don't know you could probably wear it how i have my other wig with the bangs in it when it dry I did cut the bangs a little bit to give it some. Yeah, you could probably like let this dry and then let it get big and have you some big, nice curly hair. Or you could sleek it back. Now, I don't know if you could sleek it back. Let's see, let's find out. Cause I wanna do the sleek back look, but I feel like the hair is too long and I don't wanna cut the hair, so let's see. So what you wanna do when doing these sleek back hairstyles and make sure the hair is combed out. If the hair isn't like combed together, it's not gonna work. You have to detangle the hair. You have to, you have to, so the curls can. Sorry, that's a lot of work. And it's hard to do it on yourself, going backwards, okay. And then you wanna comb them together, basically. All right, cool. So then you can take a brush, brush it, now that it's all brushed together. You wanna train it. Like that, like you see how it's being trained? Then I like to take some mousse. Um, and you just run it throughout the hair just keep running it you want to train it to go back see that so now the hair is starting to, i got waves now okay so now the hair is starting to group up 
and wave. So now, okay, so now that I'm seeing my hairline, I might want to tweak it a little bit. Like, let's see, I have this right here. I could stay there. Got some sideburn age. So I like to use a little bit of the black got to be gel mixed with the um, mousse. And then I, like this, add it to the hair. And then I'm going to brush it out again to make sure it's in the hair evenly. And that's basically the look, you guys. I'm going to go through and just add a little bit of baby hair. I don't really like to add no baby hair in these styles because you want it to look as natural as possible. And if my hair is sleek back, why the hell am I going to have like all these baby hairs? So what I'm going to do is take this, and because I have all this extra lace, I'm going to just apply it over this lace, extra lace and then go back with it. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I have makeup on. Like I said, usually when I do my baby hairs, I do it before my makeup so that my makeup doesn't mix with the the gel liquids and stuff. <laughs> Sorry if I look a little bit lighter in this video. My lighting is really bright. And y'all, I've been messing with my camera settings to see if I could change the quality. And um, I don't know if that'd be failing or not, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I know you boys don't really like to watch my beauty videos, but if y'all want to know a secret, Especially the hair ones. So I'm going to start back up on my beauty stuff. Um, if you see me doing beauty, that means I'm okay. okay. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you on the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you try this hairstyle out, send it to me on the ground. So yeah, love you. Mwah.